The structure of DNA is the same for all organisms. It doesn't matter if you're a lizard, a cow, a dog, or a cat, you all have the same structure of DNA. DNA is composed of four particular nucleotides. Each nucleotide has three basic parts, a sugar group, a phosphate group, which are found on the sides of the ladder, and a nitrogen-containing base, which is what connects the steps to the ladder. As you think of DNA, you probably think of the spiral staircase. The spiral staircase has the sugars and phosphates going up the sides and the nitrogen bases in the middle. The only difference between the four nucleotides that we create uh, have a sugar, a phosphate, and then one of the four nitrogen-containing bases, thiamine, cytosine, guanine, or adenine. You'll notice that thiamine and cytosine are single rings followed by purines, known as double rings, of adenine and guanine. When the latter is being created, we want to keep a purine and a pyrimidine paired together to keep uniform shape of our structure. Watson and Crick, back in the 1950s, was the two scientists responsible for putting a bunch of puzzle pieces together to figure out the actual structure of DNA. The structure, known as the spiral staircase to many, was realized based on a whole bunch of other scientists' work. They essentially put all the pieces of the other scientists together and came up with the idea that the sugars and phosphates make up the backbone or the sides of the ladder, while the nitrogen-containing bases make up the center. Two of the scientists that Watson and Crick worked with was Rosalind Franklin and Edwin Chargoff. Franklin used x-ray images to suggest that DNA was a double helix made of equal widths, that purine and pyrimidine pairing together. Chargoff was the one that stated that A equals T and C equals G. That means that adenine always pairs with thiamine and cytosine always pairs with guanine. In order to keep uniform width, the nucleotides always have to pair the same way. Now it doesn't always have to be ATCG, ATCG. It could be two ATs and then maybe a CG and then maybe two more ATs. Everyone's DNA is unique to themselves. So the way in which the ladder is arranged is unique to that person. But an A will always pair to a T and a C will always pair to a G. That is known as base pairing rules. The backbone is held together by covalent bonds, meaning that a sugar and a phosphate pair together in order to have covalent bonds, much like the space between these two. In the middle, the nitrogen bases are held together by hydrogen bonds, known as the dashed lines holding the A's and the T's and the C's and the G's together. 